Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be kind of a tough one. Unfortunately, we were made aware today by a number of PUBG's community managers for North America that a few of them are no longer with the company. And I know you probably will see this on Reddit or on Twitter or maybe in some of your other streamers channels. So I just figured make a quick video on it just to make sure it's out in the open. Everyone understands what's going on and just kind of my thoughts on on the situation. So first, if you might have noticed on Twitter, PUBG is trending, which just sometimes is a good thing whenever it trended on twitter means a lot of people are talking about it something's going on some some big good news unfortunately this time it wasn't necessarily good news so we saw that steve the happy whale andy clutch and aj all tweeted out basically you know their announcement that they're no longer with hubd studios most of them were there for about five years some were there two or three years and so while this doesn't necessarily affect PUBG, uh you know the development side of PUBG, these were the community managers uh, but this does affect the community uh environment the community vibe you know the the guys and gals that you would see on Twitter, on Reddit, on the discords, being active in the community, helping personally with partners, uh, discord reports for extreme snipers or getting people reported for whatever, any kind of TOS stuff. They were heavily involved in that. And not to mention, you know, they were our direct lines of contact to, uh, to the PUBG developers. You know, we, we basically talked to the community managers, uh, the partner managers, and then they relay information to PUBG. So, um, I guess in a nutshell, just say that that's not changing that path of contact isn't changing we will still have community managers uh, i think one's brandon and one's eric who we're being newly introduced with they've been with the company for a few years uh but they're going to be kind of new in role from what i understand so we'll still have ways to communicate with the developers you know provide feedback that, that sort of stuff but um you know it, it sucks man you know this this really sucks because you, know, you you kind of you gain friendships over the years even you know playing video games and you know especially working with the community managers so closely you know we're, we're talking to them daily most of us some some of us even play you know daily or weekly and so it's super unfortunate to hear that a few of them this what seems to me like like they've been let go so they've lost their jobs what seems to be rather abruptly a whole crew of them and you know it's unfortunate and uh, i don't know any of the details of behind like why they were let go or what the the big plan is from PUBG. what kind of hopefully severance packages they were offered so that they're not you know um struggling in the next few months so uh, i don't know those details uh, all that i'll say is that you know wish them all best of luck obviously i've reached out to all of them you guys can do the same if you've interacted with them let them know um you know how they've helped you or maybe just how they've been involved with the community and if you appreciated them i know they would appreciate to hear from you so that was uh steve the happy whale andy uh mh5 mick clutch and i actually don't have aj's twitter so if anybody wants to provide that in the comments uh please feel free to do so that's the unfortunate news in terms of what's been trending on PUBG. so if you hear any talks about like developers being laid off and whatnot that's not accurate that's not true uh, these are community managers that are being laid off and now whether that means more is coming down the pipeline i you know i don't know of course but what it what is certain to say is that there's a a pretty big shift change in north america for PUBG, at least for PUBG support and that shouldn't come as a huge surprise because as we know PUBG North America is one of the smallest player bases left for PUBG you know obviously Asia is really really big for them EU is a little bit bigger than North America and then you know North America's uh down towards the bottom there and so with them getting rid of a number of these long-term community managers uh I don't know what that says for us in as in terms of North America support you know if anything can be assumed it's not good I, I don't know I don't know how that's going to affect anything going forward I just wanted to get that out there let my thoughts be known on it and obviously you know vocally show my support and appreciation for um each and every one of these community managers what they've done for PUBG and what they've done for me personally a few of them have had a a personal hand in me getting uh getting to be a PUBG partner you know a number of years ago i think it's been what two years now so i'm eternally grateful for them and i wish them nothing but the best and i know that they're going to kick ass on their next endeavors but i know a few of them said like uh, steve and andy they're going to take a couple months off kind of recharge you know just take some me time and so i think that's well deserved obviously i hope they're able to get those batteries recharged and and hit the ground running on whatever their next endeavor is going to be now with that information out the way i also wanted just to kind of do a quick recap um on the topic of PUBG, the future of PUBG, just so we're all pretty clear on what's to come for PUBG's future so um, i just made a little quick little word document and a lot of this is based on my previous video if you guys didn't see i'll see Gally in the background if you guys didn't see my latest video go down to the PUBG 
OMG big news video posted 10 days ago, and then the big leaks video posted seven days ago. That really details all the new stuff coming uh, for PUBG, the future of PUBG. But just a quick recap of that. PUBG had their financial call where they talked about supporting PUBG as a 10 year plan. So you know, that's to confirm that they're that PUBG, that Krafton is behind supporting PUBG for the next 10 years. That That's their foreseeable future. So just to reiterate, the community managers being let go is not a loss of developers at PUBG, at least at this point. And it, it has no indication that there'll be less support in the development or improvements of PUBG. Project Black Budget was announced, and that is Krafton's new looter shooter, like a Tarkov type of game, but with PUBG mechanics. And uh, that is still obviously in the works and that that might be what some of this is from is maybe they're reallocating funds and budgeting toward project black budget you know maybe i don't know we'll, we'll see if they ever make an announcement on that the progressive aug skin new contraband uh crates and skins are still in the works and still coming prop we'll see those probably in march the famas assault rifle going to the uh the crate weapons a potential jeep collaboration like we had with the mclaren collaboration the intense br and other labs mode are going to be brought into the arcade mode the 2023 roadmap which we should be seeing in the next month or two they usually pop up around march between march and may so that's when PUBG developers actually put out a roadmap of hey this is what we're working on right now in the immediate future this is what you can look forward to in the next few months or the next year. And then the new partnership application, you know, I'm assuming leaving or removing some of the community managers doesn't affect their plans to every year open up a new application process for new partners. So be on the lookout for that. It usually happens around May. And if and if it when it does, of course, I'll make a posting about it. I'll give you guys my thoughts and feedback. And I know a few of you've already reached out to me and asked questions about how to become a partner and all that kind of stuff. So I'll of course help you any way I can and fill you in on the details uh, when that stuff comes out. So if you want to hear more details about anything specifically that I just um, recap, head over to those videos. I'll link them you know, down below or they may have already popped up above you here. The big news video, the big leaks video, and then of course, feel free to check out any of our other recent gameplay videos. You guys have been really enjoying the uh, the challenge modes that we've been doing. G Tuck and I were doing a lot of them. And then last uh, Wednesday, we had the squad challenge games and it's really fun. We just come up with a, a random list of wacky challenges to do in the game and try to win the game doing them. So I'm glad you guys have been appreciating that. And uh, that's been a, a ton of fun for us to play, you know, kind of gives you something fresh and new to do while still playing the game that we all love. So, so I think that's all I got for you today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with a buddy and get subscribed for more PUBG content. Also, if you want to support me financially without spending any more of your extra money, use creator code CDOME in the PUBG store that's on console playstation xbox and pc and if you've already purchased stuff this season and you don't support any creator yet you still have time to do so and they will retroactively take your purchases from this season so in order to do that all you have to do is click on the link that'll be in the pinned comment of this video it'll bring you to the website to get logged in link your accounts and then choose your creator of choice obviously if you want to support me it's creator code cedum thank you guys very much for doing so and uh, that's it. That's all I got for you today. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, we'll have some more gameplay, some more challenge gameplay videos coming up. And then I've got some other fun videos I've been, uh, been working on to try to get out to you guys soon, like a Mark 12 comparison video of uh, the old Mark 12 to the new nerfed Mark 12 to see how that compares to the Mini 14. And then some other just kind of fun off the wall videos that have just been kind of cool to make. So look forward to those and I will see you guys then. Take care. Peace.